Hello there all. Today I want to show you what my monitor looks like today after a year ago I bought it. It's been a while since I've been testing this monitor and I'm gonna tell you I really enjoy the monitor. It's very nice. It's not perfect by any means. And here's the things that I've changed since I bought it. The first thing that I did like about the monitor, you will not be able to see it, is because when you get close to the monitor, the film it has is for light reflection. You know, it reflects the light very nice, but at the cost of the glossy, you know, screen. I, I like glossy screen, but this monitor doesn't have that. And it's one of the things I don't like, even though glossy screens reflect more the lights this is still not my favorite it, it's just very annoying seeing all those grains on the screen now another thing that I didn't like was the base as you can see I am not using the base there because it's so badly made like whoever designed that base did a bad job Many people might like it, but I don't. For example, the you know the legs spread into like a triangle, and it's not bad looking. It just takes too much space because it's too wide. So this is like 45 centimeters long or wide, and that base will take the whole thing. So what I end up doing was I went to Amazon and I purchased this arm for 25 bucks 25 euro and it's around 10 shipping so you will have to pay around 45 if you don't get free shipping I got it from Amazon Spain since the UK no longer delivers a item for free to Ireland without import charges so and that's one of the two things that I didn't like. Now, the colors are great, still sharp. Some people comment on the video before that the monitor wasn't sharp enough, but I didn't have an issue with the sharpness. I had a 4K monitor before. I don't know if you remember the ACES, Acer 20A inches that came, around, came out around 2014 or something like that. That was one of the first 1K monitors that had 1 milliseconds uh, and it was 60 with GC so, but it was really really like not that great and I don't see the difference between this one and the other one I remember where, how it looked so uh, this monitor is still very sharp even though the compression technology DSC that ASUS is using to be able to deliver 4K at 144 Hertz with one display port cable. I, I mean, it doesn't really do much. If I <coughs> could change some things in this monitor, it would be the film on the screen, it would be the base, and also, I know many people don't like the chunky bezels. They are really big, I mean, I understand that. It doesn't really bother me, but it looks more professional and like I don't know more uh, futuristic to have a, a thin base it just doesn't uh, look very nice with the bezels like but other than that I don't have any other complaints like the monitor is still good uh, the technologies I see that many reviewers have touched that already I don't really think I should go into the color accuracy input lag blah 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 because you can find that somewhere else well I just want to show you what I am experiencing after buying my monitor and using it uh, there is an LG 4K 144Hz and that one is thinner and 
it looks kind of better because of it does have the chunky vessels. I'm not using the LED from the back here. It has an Asus logo. It's RGB. Uh, but that wasn't available at the time I purchased this monitor. So, if you have any question, um, you can ask me down in the comments and I can try my best to answer. Uh, but so far, the experience has been great. Just a minor thing that I would change, but it's a matter of preference. So, not everyone will think the same. By the way, this video, I'm recording it with my mobile because my camera is hooked up there, so I don't really want to uh, take that out, the tripod, and try to record with that. And it's not gonna look so good. Last time I recorded on my previous video, like the camera didn't take the pixels and stuff very well. It didn't show the video properly. It looks better, it's just, you know, fun. I don't know why it didn't capture the whole thing great. Okay, that's gonna be it. See you around, guys.